guy is for you. The time it takes to create stunning screenshots like these is long. It is an art form, and if you want to succeed, you need to practice a lot. Try hundreds of angles, plan the shot, set up the direction, consider the positions, sizes, colors, what will be in the frame and what will not. You think you can get good results by watching a 10 minute YouTube video? No way. Enough of that nonsense. Yeah, you could spend hours on end getting the one perfect shot or watch this video and produce dozens of beautiful shots every time you play, spending an average of less than a minute at first, even less as you practice. All you need is to hit that photo mode key combination and look around for a few seconds snapping a couple of pictures. That's it. End of video. No, seriously, this game produces amazing vistas all day long, almost effortlessly. If you just make it a habit to go into photo mode and take a few screenshots, you'll get some great shots and some that are not so great, but nobody has to know, right? If that's enough for you, hit like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you again in the next video. Follow my suggestions and everyone will love the results. This video will focus on what to do with minimal explanation on how the various features work. To enter photo mode while in your ship, even if not in space, you open the quick menu, X on PC or D-pad down on most controllers, and use the right key to go to the camera icon and then activate F on PC, A on Xbox controller, etc. On PC, I like to use Control 7 to set the number 7 as a quick shortcut. You can use any number you like, of course. When outside your ship, the operation is the same. Open the quick menu, use right to reach the camera icon and activate. Again, I am on PC and I like to set the same number as a quick shortcut. Unfortunately, the quick shortcut does not exist on other platforms. If you want a thorough explanation, Kyle Culver has a great video. Go watch it, but don't forget to come back. Link is in the description. Photo mode exists in many games, of course, and in No Man's Sky, we have to distinguish between two different game modes, but also take into account whether the game will pause in photo mode or not. Whether it will pause in photo mode depends on exactly one thing, whether other players are nearby. If yes, the game will continue to animate everything. If not, even if you are with multiplayer enabled, the game will freeze all animations. Here you can see I am in multiplayer mode enabled, in the space anomaly, and the game freezes. This is because when I recorded this, the game still had not put anyone else in the same virtual lobby as me. Therefore, no nearby players, and animations freeze. At the end of this video, I will mention how to record short videos with the animations running. And while we're at it, I'll also show how to produce this effect. The two different game modes, as far as photo mode is concerned, are on planet or off planet. On planet has more features than off planet, but the basics are exactly the same. When you go into photo mode, the first thing you see is this help bar at the bottom of the screen. This shows the PC key bindings, so check this bar when you start photo mode. In short, your direction controls move in space the same as you would in normal gameplay. Forward, back, left and right with two controls, Q and E on PC, for up and down. View direction, controller, joystick or mouse also work as expected. Notice there are two controls for tilt. Here, one is counterclockwise around the center of the view, and three is clockwise. The other important controls are to move the sun and to adjust effects. When you hit the control to move the sun, it simply moves to the center of your view. This is the quickest way to see what the shot looks like at different hours of the day-night cycle, and also to align the light and shadow angles if you wish to do so. Hitting the control to adjust effects opens this menu in the top right. Notice that I am deep enough in the atmosphere, so what we see is the on-planet adjustment menu. It includes the time of day, which you can change with left and right. Fog density affects the fog level of all planets, not just the one you are near. Cloud level lets you change the amount of clouds. Vignette and bloom are explained well in Kyle Culver's video, and you usually don't need to fiddle with them. Screen filter lets you change various color filters that the game has, which is a quick way to see the same scene in different light, so to speak. Switching to lens, we can see how we can use the field of view as a makeshift zoom in or out. Here we see I am on my freighter, which is of course off planet, and therefore the menu is smaller. There is no time of day, since this is meaningless in space. There is no cloud level, of course, but you can see fog density, filters, vignette and bloom, of course. Switching to lens, we can see the effect of field depth. This can set up the view to look like a professional camera, with a specific focal distance keeping just what you want in focus and blurring everything else. Again, Kyle Culver's video is super useful to understand how this works, but this is out of scope of this video. So, how do you choose a shot? I didn't set out to find the best flight screenshot for this ship. I just thought to myself, let's stop mid-pulse and look around. Maybe it looks nice. Looking around, I spent some time searching for an angle, asking myself, can I get the other planets in the shot? Let's try and see if it fits. How do these pulse lines look? 
I kind of like it and there, I decided this is nice. Not super gorgeous, but nice. Take a screenshot. Simple and quick, the whole thing took me 20 seconds. Alright, next screenshot. As I am traveling on this planet, I noticed these nice capillary shells and decided their blue color will look very nice next to other underwater elements. So let's go to photo mode and dive in the water looking for a good shot. The clock is ticking and the camera is not yet in the water. Looking around, I see two of these capillary shells and one of those plants made of cytophosphate between them. Which one is the nicer one? But wait, over there is another capillary shell with those porous sponges with the red interior. A nice shot waits there, I'm sure. Moving around, looking for the shot, adjusting, checking, move back a bit, whoops, back in the water, move some more. How about we move the sun above us? There. Looking back, let's try to move the sun so it will reflect the blue part of the capillary shell. Try again, slightly different angle, maybe. How about now? We move a little bit, minor adjustments, short moves. How does that look? Yep, that's the shot I want. Sometimes I can be real picky with the position. Take a screenshot. And it took me a whole minute. Still a nice shot. Don't you think? Okay, one more before we move on. Same planet, other direction, and I hear a ship to my right. Photo mode, and look for it. Over there, turn right. Oh, there it is. Hey, maybe it would look nice between those star brambles I just looked at. Let's try. Adjust, move backwards a bit. How about this? Up, down maybe? No. Small adjustment, wait for the menu to disappear and Take a shot. No, not good enough. Move the sun. Try to adjust the picture a little. Something's still missing, but what? Hmm. Let's move the sun to behind us. No. A little higher, maybe. Like that. But the ship is still too small in the frame. Let's use the field of view to zoom it. And then we'll try to find the best spot to take the shot. I want the two star brambles to appear in the shot, so we need to move backwards. There. Ah, the vegetation is in the way. Up a little, left, and wait for the menu to disappear to take the shot. Hmm, I think it will be a nice shot. Yeah. That's it. And it took me 70 seconds, give or take. You can see I'm still looking around for another shot. And that's the point. You need to spend some time looking around, asking yourself, is this nice? Sure, let's take a screenshot. But okay, let's talk about the two other things I promised. The ghost effect and shooting videos with the animations running. Let's start with the issue of keeping the animations running. The simplest way, not necessarily easy, is to have a friend join your game. They can stand for a while out of the frame and be quiet while you record a short video. However, not everyone has enough friends playing No Man's Sky and willing to connect on your whim. Luckily, Beeblebum has a great video on exactly this topic, and I urge you to watch it if you want to record videos with the animations running. Link is in the description, but don't forget to come back for the ghost effect. The ghost effect is pretty well known by anyone who used the Atlantid Multitool Runic Lens in third-person view mode. That's right, all you need is an Atlantid multi-tool. They all have this tech, a runic lens. When this is equipped as the secondary weapon, it hides you from view for a while, and in third-person view mode, it looks like this. I have a few videos on searching for Atlantid multi-tools, so go ahead and watch them. As always, hit like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you again soon.